Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get top level in every career, earn all the degrees, max every skill, complete all the aspirations, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Now Carla is just working on her knitting and I have had a couple of hiccups with this. For one, she got to level 10 immediately, so almost everything that she makes is either legendary or normal, and I'm not getting any excellent ones. But that's okay, we got one, and I need to give away three, but I haven't had any successful giveaways. So what I did is I made this little Grimm doll, and I put it in my shop. And then I sold the shop and bought the doll. So I don't have to knit that one again because I want to complete the collection of knittables as well. So what I'm doing is knitting everything once and then I'll put items in the store that I can buy and then give those away to complete the aspirational step. Since I got level four of the soccer player career, I can now join the professional athlete at level five which is a long way from level 10. But if we complete that one, we can check off the athlete careers because we've done professional athlete and we've done bodybuilder. So all of the athletic careers will have been completed by then and we can move on. And after that, I'm probably going to do the freelancer careers because those careers are going to be easy to do while at university. Also, don't forget, I am still looking for Sims. If you create a Sim in CAS and upload them to the gallery, I might choose them for Carla's soulmate. And if you give them a little bit of a backstory, that might help me out a bit. And it's just a way for the community to participate in Carla's journey. And it looks like we did it. Oh, excellent, good. Okay, I was hoping it wasn't legendary. So now we have an excellent Claire the Bear. Okay, the child's toys seem to be doing pretty well. That's two excellents in a row. Although my first one was legendary. Well, that was easy. I needed nine in a row and they were all excellent. Well, children's toys more often than not tend to turn out to be excellent because they're a level 10 item to make. And I'm very inspired and also listening to metal on my earbuds. I don't know if that matters since I'm listening on my earbuds and that is not in my queue. So yeah, if you need to get an excellent one, just do a high skilled one while you're very inspired. And here we are at the retail store and I'm going to restock this little Grimm plus add all of the other little toys that I had so that I can buy them. And then hopefully I can gift these successfully. We'll see. Oh, this time there's actual other employees. That didn't happen before. Normally when I sell the store, it's like no one ever owns it and I can't come back here. So if other employees are actually here, Hopefully they will restock these items and I can come back and get them later. Oh, I think I need some rainbow wool because it is the llama fair and wool competition. Okay, we're here at Stephanie's house and Stephanie, I guess she's a little bit of a romance, but she doesn't really like me and neither does Carla. Well, Carla doesn't like being touched. That's right. All right. So let's see if she will accept a knitting gift from me. Let's give her a little grim. Oh, she likes us more now. Oh, she liked it. Okay, I expected her to like that one. And we became good friends. Wow, that was a huge boost to friendship. Um, What are you doing? Okay, you're being mean, Carla. Why are you autonomously being mean? Fine. Be mean to her right after you gave her a gift. She didn't like that. Okay, I also discovered that Caitlin is not married. She just has a kid for some reason. So we're going to try and gift her one of our little Grim dolls. 
Okay, she accepted it. She's also our good friend, so I was hoping that she would accept it. And here's another sim that I actually downloaded off the gallery because I met her on Cupid's Corner. So we're going to say hello. And we became good friends. So maybe we will give her a pink little grim. Okay, so Zala liked it. And we've completed that stage of the aspiration. So now we have to donate five knitted items to charity. Okay, it's a good thing that I actually bought more than I needed to gift. So we can donate all these items to charity. And then we can try to complete five legendary knitables and teach another sim to knit. Great. That sounds like loads of fun. Okay, well, we'll do that last. It's almost time for class, so let's go ahead and head home. Okay, then we'll donate these items to charity. All right, and then we just need to complete five legendary knitables and teach another sim to knit. But first, we're going to class. Okay, teach to knit is in the top level friendly category. Also, I think in order to do this, you need to have some sort of couch or seating in the area that two sims can sit next to and not have a table or anything like that. Oh, maybe a bed would work, actually. I forgot about the beds. Okay, so now we just need to knit five legendaries. Yeah, that'll be easy. The first one I knitted was legendary. Okay, well, I'm not even in a good mood for it. I'm very confident. I thought that being inspired or maybe focused, but less likely focused, more likely inspired, would be a better attitude to be in. But for some reason, now knitting is just going very well for me. And we got our final grades. So we have finished our economics degree. And graduation is tomorrow. Now there is a little bug with the university degrees and I did not know it before I started Super Sim. However, it's not as bad as it sounds. So I attended my first university degree at Brightchester. I should have just done Foxbury and done all of the Foxbury ones first and never gone to Brightchester first. Because what happens is if you go to Brightchester, once you do, all of your diplomas will say from Brightchester. So it says Magna University of Brightchester Diploma, University of Brightchester Art History with Honors. And then if I look at my biology degree and my computer science degree, both of those say they're from Brightchester and it's the Brightchester Diploma. But it's fine because if you look at Carla's Symology panel, she has her art history degree from Brightchester, her computer science degree from Foxbury, her biology degree from Foxbury. So as long as it shows up correctly in this degrees list, it's fine. It will actually get, oh, and she got the economics from Foxbury as well. But basically, that's what gives her the bonus in the careers and makes her go to the maximum level that she can get to starting out. And the only bug that happens is that your diplomas are screwed up. But to be honest, the diplomas are items and I really don't care about the objects in this game that much. I know I'm starting a museum for all of Carla's stuff, but... To be honest, some of these things I'm not going to be that attached to. I even stopped taking photos because some of these photos, if you take too many of them, they'll start turning black. And I even had paintings turn black. And I'm just not going to be attached to the objects in the game. And I had two university photos one of them from Foxbury and one of them from Brightchester, but they're honestly identical. So these little things I'm not going to worry about too much. And we're just going to say that Carla got her degrees from the correct university 
and I don't care what the diploma looks like. Okay, so we have to manage the intern. Carla has been assigned to an intern to train and manage. How should she handle her intern? Uh, you could have coffee duty. And that gave me a performance gain of medium. Um, yeah, so what? She's already back to the bar. I just didn't want a performance loss. And we got promoted to rookie. So we're now level six of the professional athlete career. Okay, the next one at Foxbury is going to be the physics degree. Oh, we did get promoted even though we didn't go to work today. All right, we completed the Lady of the Knits aspiration. And we didn't have to do anything with the ugly sweater? Okay. Well, I'm knitting one last thing. And I'm not even done knitting all of the objects and all of the clothing that I need. Okay, the next one is the Master Maker. So we'll work on that as soon as we get done knitting all of these sweater items. I mean, maybe I'll take a break from that because it is going to take a really long time to knit everything. Okay, we are level three in fabrication and we just need to recycle a few times. Okay, now we need level five skill in fabrication, fabricate five items and have five dies. Well, we can make some candles. Okay, that didn't count as fabricating an item. I guess I have to use the fabricator and not the candle making station. Okay, we did get promoted. So we have work from 2 to 9 p.m. on Saturday, which is going to conflict with the Finchwick Fair. So we didn't earn any vacation days. And we only have one left. So we might have to just call off tomorrow and see if it will let us play hooky. Okay, we completed that milestone. And we have level 7 in fabrication. We've actually maxed the fabrication skills. And we need to collect insects from an insect farm. Create five candles. Okay, now I can do the candles. Okay, we're stuck on this one because we have to be able to collect all of these insects. And we cannot. Okay, we can clog drains at three different homes. But we also need a voodoo doll. Okay, we're just going to break into this house. I know it's Judith Ward's house, but it's not actually Judith Ward here anymore. I moved Stuart in here because he won the lottery. He has a million simoleons. And I don't remember if I realized it at the time that he won it. But yeah, he won the lottery somehow. So we're going to clog his drain. All right, mission accomplished. And this is another random neighbor's house. I'm just breaking into the houses because that makes it much easier. Since the new break-in feature, you don't have to worry about a sim walking in on you clogging their drain because you can just do it when they're not home. Well, it's pouring down rain. That's a nice look for the Finchwick Fair. We have a llama. And we have a rainbow wool. I just went to this house that's actually in the Finchwick Fair area. Now, let me see if I can clog a drain in here without getting caught. If I'm in the bathroom, in theory, no one should come in here. All right. So now I just have to perform voodoo. In order to perform voodoo, I need a target. Okay. Turkey Martin is a member of the Eternals. Is my club the Eternal still? I'm not in any club. Okay, somehow I lost control of this club. I don't remember how, but Caitlin is in it. Cassandra, Nikita, Turkey, and Christopher. I don't remember why I had this club or why I left it. But anyway, it's mine now again. Who is the leader. Cassandra is the leader. All right. So if Cassandra is the leader, then we need to start a gathering here. Oh, it can only be held at venues and residences owned by eternal members. 
Well, unfortunately, I am at another residence. So let me fix that really quick and go to the bar. Okay, now I can start a gathering and I can probably take over the club if I can find Cassandra and tell her to step down. Oh, there she is. I'm blind. She's right next to me. Okay, so under clubs, you can convince her to step down. And she should step down because everybody likes me in this club. And I'm also famous. Yes, I should lead in Eternals. And now you guys can leave. Okay, let's just pick on Cassandra since she actually had my club for some reason. Oh, I can only bind it to Turkey and Naoki? Why? Um, all right, fine. How about Turkey? Turkey is a werewolf. Oh, I was probably trying to find werewolves to fight. All right, we just need to perform voodoo five times. Oh, it's not working for some reason. Why is it not working? Maybe it's because she's a werewolf? I guess. I don't know. We'll try someone else. Uh, no, she's not getting it to bind to anybody. Why is that not working? Well, let me talk to someone. Well, hello, Cody. You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Can I now bind this to him? Okay, yes, I can bind it to him now because I'm talking to him. Uh, what is wrong with her? Why can't she bind this doll? It's really strange, because she has max level mischief. I can't perform voodoo if I can't bind the doll. Finally, I bound it to Spencer Hauser. Maybe Cody is some other thing? I don't know. But anyway, I got it bound finally. And now I'll cuddle it. And we'll tickle it. We'll soak it. Oh, I got soaked. Summon Spencer. I should have bound it to Stuart. I didn't even think about that until now. Okay, so we have achieved the Chief of Mischief Aspiration. So, now for Seeker of Secrets. While we're waiting for the Finchwick Fair to be over. Uh, Pry for Secrets is under Gossip. Oh, I, he's leaving. Okay, so maybe we can eavesdrop on someone... Is anyone talking and have a com having a conversation? I love how I can eavesdrop with one of the people who are here are actually sitting on the front porch. And apparently I know this one. Marcus Myers might have been one guy that I pissed off for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, we got promoted to MVP. And we can just repeatedly eavesdrop at the same door. This is an interesting place. I think I made this for maybe one of my other Sims. Oh, I know. This is Kathy's place. Yeah, for Kathy and Ghidri. Are these people related to them? I don't think they are. Oh, well, I'm going to snoop. Oh, the Finchwick Fair is over. So we got third place for the llama competition and I don't see that the wool competition got anything so yeah sometimes you can get two and sometimes you don't I did get the rainbow wool back but I did not get a ribbon for that one so this is it for tonight this is charity thanks for watching <laughs>